Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I feel like a dog with a bone. Uh, basically, I've previously commented that I think there's a problem with the Kona, uh, both the 39 kilowatt hour and the 64 kilowatt hour, in when it's charging. And the experience that I had when I tested the uh, press officer's fleet 39 kilowatt hour Kona was that from a cold start, going to a rapid charger and um, when I was already charged at between 50 and 60 percent of state of charge the charger didn't give me the rate of charge that I'd expect now when I posted things like that of course people say oh it could be the charger it doesn't necessarily mean it's the car well times moved on now and we're several months from when I did that uh, I have experienced that issue with my own 64 kilowatt hour Kona um, and I did experience it more severely that the rates were restricted a lot more on the 39 kilowatt hour Kona. Following on from that, I've also seen uh, from one of Bjorn Nyland's comments that he went out and tested the charging from cold on a rapid charger of the E Nero over in Norway. Now he experienced the same thing but put it down to cold as if there was a problem cold charging the Nero. Um, when I asked him what state of charge he started from, it was 70%. So we seem to have the same sort of issue, cold starting, rapid charging from 50, 60, 70%, not from low states of charge, that the rates of kilowatts that we're getting from the charging station aren't what we might expect and definitely aren't the same as you would expect um, when you're charging from lower states of charge, 10, 20, 30%. Now, does it ramp up or does it not? Um, my experience, no it doesn't. It, it ramps up a little bit, um, but more or less it stays as it is. Then it reduces steps down, not where the same steps are with charging from cold, but the steps seem to be brought forward more. So it's almost like the programming of the 64 kilowatt hour, um, or in fact the 39 kilowatt hour, all of those Hyundai based battery systems, the programming seems to be telling the car to protect it more and implement those steps down in charge rates much sooner. The question is why? Well, one of those charges that I did effectively was almost summer weather conditions, so it wasn't really cold. Some of those tests that I've done are 4 degrees C, some are 7 degrees C. I've seen the problem basically driving from home to the charger, and that's about a 10 mile trip, and it, the car's not warming up enough, or whatever the parameters are for the battery management system, to decide that it's not going to allow you to charge at the rates you might expect. So today, uh, what am I doing? I'm uh, got in the car, it's seven degrees outside. We started with 57% state of charge. I've got 146 miles on the GOM now. It's actually dropped to 56% state of charge. And we've done three and a half miles so far driving to where the charger is. And that's the plan. I'm gonna drive to a rapid charger, plug in, and see whether my predictive views on the charge rates being reduced come true again today. And if they do, hopefully that shares the story with you that there is not necessarily an issue or a problem, but there's definitely a compromise here. If you don't have a charger at home, or you forgot to charge your car at home, and you've left it at 50, 60, 70%, and want to charge it some more, want to give it a quick splash and dash, another 10, 15, 20%, because that's what you need for your journey, then you've got to anticipate that it won't be as quick as you might like. It won't be at 30, 40 kilowatts, 50, kilowatts or more on a rapid charger um, you'll be getting 20s and 30s and even down to the teens depending on where you're starting from in your state of charge so allow more time is it a problem with it well to me yes it feels like it's a programming issue that one of the tests I did with the 39 kilowatt hour um, I drove it over to Peterborough 90 miles and uh, I charged it on the rapid charger and it was gradually ramping up the um, rate of kilowatts that I was getting on the charger and it got to mid to high 30s but uh, never reached the 40s. Now by accident I actually disconnected the charger and had to start it again. So even disconnecting and starting again you'd think it might realize the same sort of charging um, session or the right parameters for state of charge and temperature might trigger getting up into those 40 kilowatts um, rate of charge but it didn't um, it carried on in the 30s so almost as if that unplugging and replugging in reset it and it was starting to think oh I'm already in the 50-60% um, state of charge I don't need to give full rate anymore 
One of the potentials is when you look at the um, information on charge rates and charge times from both Kia and Hyundai, what they quote is how long in time it takes to get to 80%. And uh, that time, 54 minutes on a uh, 100 kilowatt charger, or 70, I think it's 75 minutes on a 50 kilowatt charger. That's the time that they quote. They don't quote how much charge rate you get. So I wonder whether the programming is based on time. So you plug it in at 50%, it knows it has lots of time, it can easily accommodate charging to 80% within the 54 minutes or the 75 minutes, so it doesn't give you as much charge. It's protecting the battery as much as it can while still delivering on the time that it's taking to charge, which is all Kia and Hyundai promise us. Is that the case? Is it a programming based on time? Is it not giving us as much as we can, as much as we want? I don't know. So that's what we're going to the charger for. That's what we're going to find out and hopefully share with you so you can appreciate the difference. Again, I'm not saying there's a fault. I'm just describing my experience and it seems to be backed up with now multiple people in the Kona community. I've heard from Vicky saying she's experienced exactly the same and Alan has sent me a message saying that he experienced the same as well recently. So we've got multiple people all experiencing the same thing. So here we are at one of my favourite Instavolt chargers in Thorpe St Andrew Norwich. If we have a look at the car, uh, as you can see on there, I'm about halfway, uh, 145 miles on the GOM. I've just travelled 5.3 miles to get here, and the state of charge is 56%. Plug her in, tap my card, and it still says introductory offer, which is excellent. Press start. What was that? Charging. 56%. So nice and simple. And we've got a green flashing light. We're charging. And to start with, well, that's interesting. I've got 40 kilowatts, um, which is more than I was anticipating. So let's see what happens. And the rate of charge is actually increasing, 41, 42 kilowatts. So this looks like normal. It looks like it's not the problem I've seen. Oh, and now look, I just saw it flick into the 30s and now we're down to 27, 28 kilowatts. Why is that? That is the problem that I've seen. We're only at 57%. It was starting to give us 40 something kilowatts and it's now decided to only give us 27, 28. Why? There shouldn't be any reason because when you're charging from a 20, 30% state of charge and it gets to 50, 60%, it stays in the 40s. It does not uh, reduce unless there's some reason, um, external temperatures, etc., or the heat from the car, that it means it can't. So today we're seven degrees outside. It is not an extreme cold temperature. There is no reason to protect the battery. We've also only driven five miles. The car hasn't warmed the battery up. There's no reason to protect the battery more than any other time. So this is either a reasoning that the battery management system thinks there is some inherent danger in giving it more than 27, 28 kilowatts when it's already at a mid state of charge, or what I think, this is an issue with the actual programming and uh, it could be improved. So Hyundai, if you're watching, especially the press office, I know you watch these things. I did raise this with you about the 39 kilowatt hour version. It's the same with the 64 and potentially from what I saw from Bjorn, it's the same with the Nero. So when the e-Nero comes out, owners of that can also expect splash and dash type chargers to be slower than they might otherwise expect. So what's the answer? Uh, the answer is, well, basically don't expect to go to a rapid charger and get rapid charging when you're there, if you're already at 50, 60, 70% state of charge. If you want a top up, um, you're better doing it from low states of charge. If not, just allow more time. There isn't a way of solving this from what I can see. There's no trick. Um, there's no warming the car up some more. There's there's nothing in that. I've done this in so many different circumstances now. It doesn't seem to be an ambient temperature or battery temperature issue that it's uh, restricting for any of those reasons. So I've got the heater on at the moment in the car. So if I just turn it off. Okay, so that's the fan completely off. So if there was any battery management going on, I would hear it. And there isn't. There is nothing. So 
the car isn't doing anything to warm the battery. It's not trying to cool the battery either. There's nothing happening in the car apart from it charging. Okay, it's reducing some more. We're at 26 kilowatts now. So we're at 61% state of charge now, and it says 35 minutes to go until 80%. So is that the issue? Is it that the car here is thinking, I've got 35 minutes to get to 80%, charging at 26 27 kilowatts so i don't need to give the car anymore i'm going to get the job done in the time required is that what's going on with the programming here so the only thing we can do is report it show that it's an issue show that if you don't have a charger at home and you're relying on charging out and you haven't charged the previous night then you you're not going to get the charging that you would require the speed of charging that you require so my experience with this situation is if you now sit here and wait longer, hoping that the battery warms up and then it ramps up and gives you more kilowatts, then uh, you'll be waiting a long time because it doesn't do it. It doesn't now return to higher levels, higher rates of charge. It stays at this level until it starts dropping down to the charge rates in the teens, in the 13, 14 kilowatt levels. And instead of doing that... Um, in the step down levels that you might expect it does it much earlier oh, and here we go it's just done it already we're now dropping down to 22 kilowatts and we're only at 62 percent state of charge that's uh it, i mean it, it's just getting to the point and this is what it was when i tested the 39 kilowatt hour you give up you basically think this is too slow i can't sit here can't wait any longer i need to get going one thing I can try while I'm here, um, rather than just sit and wait and see it keep reducing down in kilowatts, what I can do is unplug and restart the session, and now we're at 63%, uh, see whether it handles it differently, starting in the 60% range rather than the 50% range. As I said, we started at 56%, so we've added 7 at the moment, we're currently at 63%. So if I just wait another one, I'll wait until it clicks over to 64, and uh, we'll try unplugging and uh, restarting the session and seeing what happens with that. So for any novices out there, to end the session, all you do is re-tap your contactless charge card. Finished, card swiped. And we unplug. So let's start again. Authorizing. Introductory offer. Replug the car in. And don't forget to press the start button. Okay, and there we go, charging. And from inside the car, 64%, so it's starting giving us 27 kilowatts. So that's more than it was when we um, stopped the charge, it was at 22, which it's exactly the same, isn't it? When I first plugged in, we saw it was uh, giving us 40 kilowatts and then very quickly jumped down to 27, 28. Now plugging in at 64%, it's giving us 27 kilowatts to start with. And I would guess that in a moment or two, it's going to start reducing down and give us less. And yeah, right on target. There we go, straight down to 22 so unplugging and uh, restarting your session doesn't give you any more charge rate and doesn't make it go any quicker. So I do need a little bit of a charge today, so I'm going to sit here for probably half an hour and charge up to 80%. Uh, it's a shame it's only at 22, 23 kilowatts and it will reduce further, but uh, that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I would say I hope you enjoyed the video, but uh, it's not really an enjoyable one, isn't it? Showing you a problem that I think there is with both the Kona and the Nero on uh, rapid charging from cold. Now, not really cold weather, but uh, just not having driven the car very far when you first start off in the morning. Anyway, if you've got that experience, if you've tried this yourself and uh, you've experienced something different or you've experienced the same at different state of charge levels, please leave the comments below. If you've got a Kona, uh, go and try it. Try it at 40 something percent, 50, 60 percent. Um, 
give us some feedback and the more information that we get through on the channel the more we'll learn about the car because obviously I can't go and charge every single uh, state of charge rate from cold I can't do that I don't have the time to do that um, I've waited three months to get to this point of saying yeah I'm not just imagining it there is an issue here so um, yeah the more of you that can share the information uh, share with us your experiences the better thank you all for watching thanks for subscribing and uh, take care see you again soon bye bye